Okay. Yes, it's recording. Okay, guys. Hello, everyone, again. Inshallah, today we'll take lesson uh, six, graph reflection of points. Graph reflection of points, page 237. Let me just, guys, close the door. Just give me a second, please. Okay, guys, I have two hands here. Abdul Rahman, yes, Abdul Rahman. Mister, I have a question in the homework. What is it? It's the question Which six. Which page, Hamidi? 235. Okay, guys, let's go to the question of Abdul Rahman before we start our lesson. Page 235, question six. Five. I can the axis on which the point zero and six and the three over five is located. Look here, yeah. Uh, Abdul Rahman, are you with me? Yeah. So we have this point six and the three over five with zero, right? Yes. No, the zero is six, uh, six over five. Then the zero is here. Yeah. Okay. So we have zero and six and the three over five, like this, right? Yes. Okay. Now we need to know which axis this point is located. Now look here. We know that we know this, right? What's this? X and Y. What's this? What we call this? We call this graph. X axis and Y axis. No, no. What we call it, all of you, all of it together. What we call it? We call it. What we call it, Abdul? Look here. What we call it? The coordinated plane. The the coordinated plane. We call it the coordinated plane. Okay. Yeah. Now we have X axis and Y axis, right? Yeah, we have. This point, it's either on the X axis or on the Y axis. Now we need to know on which axis this point is located, got it? Yeah. Now we said the first number always for what? For X axis. For X, and the second number always for? Y. Now let's find this, this, this value or this point, where is it here, right? This is okay. X zero, Mishak. Yeah. So we go to the left or to the right on the X or we stay on zero? We go to the, to the, we go to. What's X, Mister? X is zero. So X is zero. We still in zero. We don't go to the right or to the left. It's not okay. positive to go to the right and it's not negative to go to the left, right? Yes. So we stay in zero, right? Yeah, we stay in there. Now from zero, we'll go to this value, which is six and three over five for y. This value up or down for y? Up. Up, because it's positive, right? Yeah. Let's assume that this is six and this is seven, okay? Okay. Now six and three over five, it's between these two values, right? Yes. So assume that it's here. So I'll go from zero on the same coordinate here, and this is our point, right? Yeah. So on which axis this point is located? On y. x axis or y axis? Y axis. On y axis, got it? Yes. Now, this is a question six. Before a question six, we have a question five, right? Yeah. So this point located on Y axis, your answer is Y what? X. Axis here. But in question five, read the question five. Identify the axis on which the point negative is two over three comma zero. Negative two over three with zero. And we need to know where this value or where this point is located here, right? Yeah. On which axis? 
صح؟ yes. Now what's x? This is x, and this is what? Wow. Now the x is negative two over three. It is before negative one. This is negative one here. Now negative two over three. We assume it is here, right? Yeah. Stop. The y is zero. We go up or down, or we still on the same place? It's still in the same, the same place. The same place because y is zero. We cannot go up. And we cannot go down. So the, the, the point, it's on the same place here. So on which axis in question five, the point is located? X axis or Y axis? X axis. In X axis. So the answer of question five is X axis. But the answer of question six is Y axis. In general, if Y is zero, focus guys. If Y is zero, then the lo point located on X axis. But if x is zero, then the point is located where? In y axis. Y axis. Now, if I give you this one, zero and five, x is zero. Where this point will be located? Can you tell me, Abdul Rahman? Zero is X and zero is X and five is zero Y. Zero is X and five is Y. So we'll go up until we get the five, right? Yeah. I will go up until I get the five. I cannot go right or left because X is what? X is zero. So I cannot go right or left. I will stay on the same Y axis here. So where is this point located? Y. In Y axis, got it? Yeah. But if the two numbers are not zero, the point won't be on X axis or Y axis. It will be here on these areas. We call them quadrants. Quadrant one, two, three, four, right? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yusuf Tamil. Yes, mister. Talk, mister. I don't have anything. Why you put your hand, Mister? I just want to answer the the question you gave it to us. Which question I gave it to you? Zero and something. I cannot remember. Thank you, Mister. Thank you. Focus here now. Welcome. Okay, guys, look at the board. Today we'll take our new lesson, which is graph reflection of points, page two hundred thirty-seven. Now, let's remember what we did on the previous lesson, guys. We took something, we call it the coordinate plane. And we said, we have two axes here. We said we have X axis, the horizontal one, and Y axis, the vertical one, right? The vertical one, Y axis. And I will write some numbers here, starting from zero here. Zero for X and Y, by the way, this zero for X and for Y, okay? And here I'll write some numbers, one, two, three, four, five, the positive, and here the negative, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and here one, two, three, four, and here negative one, negative two, negative three, and negative four. Taban forever in each direction, right? We are not, these numbers are not, stop they will continue until forever now if i have a point here if i have a point here and i will call it point a focus guys please focus focus now i will call this point a what's the coordinates of b of a we said it's a three and two we go to the x first then to, uh, to y so what's the coordinate of a the coordinates of A is a three and two, right? Now, this A has an image. This A, this point has an two images. A has image after the Y axis and A has image under the X axis here. Now, we will consider these two axes as uh, mirrors, as mirrors. So if this mirror, we assume that this y axis is mirror. So if we have A here, we will have its image here. We will have its image here. 
So first we will do reflection. Reflection of A means the image of A. Reflection of A needs, means the image of A. Like when you stand in front of your mirror, you will have your image on the mirror, right? Which is virtual. So you will have your image in front of, you, of your uh, mirror. And this image, we will call it reflection. Reflection. So what's ref reflection of A? It's the image of A. So here we have two types of reflections, guys. We have, look here, guys, and try to write these formulas in your copy book or in your lesson. Here, beside the lesson, you have you have um, some place to write notes here or here if you want, you can write notes here. So I have two kinds of reflection. First one, reflection across Y axis. The first type of reflection, we call it reflection across Y axis. And the second type of reflection, we call it reflection across x-axis. OK, so we have two types of reflections. And I will give you, I will give you a formula for the first one and a formula for the second one. So each type of reflection, I will give you a formula for it. Now let's go back here a little bit. Now this is A, our point. If I want the reflection of the y-axis, the reflection will be here. And if I want a reflection of the x-axis, the reflection will be here, okay? So if I said reflection of y-axis, then our mirror is the y-axis. Reflection of the x-axis, then our mirror is the x-axis. Now let's go back here. What are the formula or what is the formula for each type of reflections? Now I will start with the reflection across y axis and focus with the formula here and try to copy it. It's not existed in your book. Now, if I have a point A and A, it has always X and Y, right? A is always X and Y. If I want the reflection across y axis, the reflection will be like this, arrow. And the image of A, we will call it A and a dash or a small line over it like this. This is the original point. This is the reflection of the original point, okay? And how we say it, how we read it, we say A prime. We say A prime, prime. A prime means the image of A. A prime means the image of A under this reflection across Y axis. Now what's A prime will be guys? Will be like this across y axis, right? X, it will be the opposite of X. Remember the opposite? When we say negative three, the opposite of it, positive three. My, uh, positive five, the opposite minus five, we change the sign, right? So X, Y, the opposite of X is minus X and Y stay the same. Y stay the same. So this is the formula the formula, write it please, for reflection across y-axis. Reflection across y-axis. Now, if I want reflection across x-axis, the formula will be like this, a of xy, it will be a prime, a prime, across x-axis, focus guys. x will stay the same, and y will be negative y. Now, look here, guys, to, uh, to compare between the two formulas. Reflection across y axis, the y is still the same, and we change the sign of x. Reflection across x axis, the x stay the same, and we change the sign of the y. Now, let's take example. I will take my example here, a, 3, and 2. Look at a, 3, and 2. a, 3, and 2. Now, I want to find what? The reflection of this point across y-axis. Now, let's follow the formula. Let's follow the formula. Here, x becomes minus x. So 3 will be minus 3. A prime 
x in the formula becomes minus x. So three will be minus a three. And y is still the same. So the two, it will be the same. So what's the reflection of this point across y axis as a prime negative three and two? If we go here, guys, if we go here and plot the a prime, this one, where it will be, guys, look here. This is the original point, and I want to plot the reflection, a prime, negative three and two here to see what's the uh, picture will look like. Now, this is zero. I will go, we have negative three and two, right? So I will go here to negative three and I will go up two. So this is a prime. Look here, guys. This is the original point, and this is the reflection of the original point across the y axis. A, three and two, the reflection of it A prime, and we found it there, negative three and two. I will explain it again, guys. The formula, this is the formula here. Copy it and memorize it very well. Next Sunday, we have exam. Now, reflection across y axis. The formula said, if A, X and Y, a prime will be minus x and y means y will stay the same and we change the sign of x if x positive will be negative and if it's negative it will be positive now here we have example a three and two the reflection of it negative three and two following the formula and here i graphed a and its image which is coming from the formula so this is the reflection of a now the second formula reflection across x axis this is the formula of the reflection across x axis. X is still X, but we change the sign of the Y. We change the sign of the Y. And if I take my point, look guys here and focus please. My point here, A, I found already the reflection across Y axis. Now I'm gonna find the reflection across X axis. Look here guys, if A, three and two, look guys, A prime will be, a prime, prime, sorry, will be, look, X is still X. So the three, it will be three. We don't change anything. Now Y becomes negative Y. So two will be negative two. So this is the reflection of A across what? X axis. Now let's graph the reflection across X axis. Let's see the reflection across X axis. A3 and 2, I already put it here. A is a 3 and 2. And the prime of it, the image of it across x axis, A prime, A3 and negative 2. This is, I'll go to the 3 and go down to negative 2. This is the reflection which we found in the x axis, 3 and negative 2. Now look here, guys, we have two reflections. This reflection across y axis, this is the original point. This is the original, the original point, okay? Or ordered pair, we call it. Now this one is the reflection of this point across y axis. And this one is the reflection of this point across y x axis. Now here, consider this as a mirror guys. And this is the image of this, the image. And the image we say it prime always. Let's take another example about reflections. Let's take another example about reflections. For example, if I have a point B, for example, minus A, minus uh, one and minus a three. And I want the reflection of this point, B minus one and minus three across Y axis. What's the reflection of this point across Y axis? I will follow the formula. This is the formula. If we have B, the image will be B what? B prime, B prime, okay? Now let's follow the formula. X will be negative X. Negative one will be negative, negative one. So if we have positive, it will be negative. Top. If it's already negative, it will be what? Positive, negative, negative, remember? Remember, we said this will be positive, huh? So negative, negative one is positive one. And the Y in the formula is still Y. So the negative three is still negative three. 
So this we call it the reflection of B across Y axis. Now, if I want a reflection of a point across X axis, like this point, if I have this point, for example, M and the M is uh, minus five and four, for example. And I want the reflection of M across X axis. I'll follow the formula. This is the formula across X axis. Copy it and memorize it very well. X, Y will be X and minus Y. So X is stay X. So negative five will stay negative five. M prime, negative five will still negative five. And four, the Y will be what? Negative Y. So four here will be negative four. So what we call this, this is the reflection of this original point across X axis. So we have two types of reflections, reflection across Y axis. This is the formula of it, copy and memorize. And reflection across X axis, this is the formula of it, copy and memorize. Now, if you don't understand the formulas and how we are applying it there, just um, put your hands. <clears throat> Better. Omar. Mr. Yes, Omar, talk. Why we should write a, a prime or B prime or M prime? It's the name, you know, it's only name. The name of what? Like, um, when you stand in, the, stand in front of the mirror, ya Omar, okay? Yes. Now, you are the real Omar, right? Yes. And the image on the mirror, is it real? No. No, so we will call it Omar Prime. Omar? Omar? Like this, prime. But you, you are real Omar. Got it? It's only name. Name, name, name. A prime, the name of the image for A. Got it? M prime, the name of the image for M. It's only name. The most important than a name is how we apply the formula. Do you understand? Yes, I understand it. Good. This is the important thing. Thank you, Omar. Abdul Hamid. Mr. No, I understand, but I have another question. What? Will you separate the lesson into two uh, lessons or we finished like this? No, Mr. Tomorrow we will continue, inshallah. We will continue the same lesson? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because until now, I didn't enter the lesson. This formula is from me, not from the book. Okay. Yeah. I want you now in this period, guys, to copy the formulas and memorize them and how we apply the formulas. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll do the exercises in the book, so it's okay. But before we're doing the exercises in the book, I need you to memorize the formulas and to know how we apply it, how we find the image of each point across Y axis or X axis using what? The formula. It's easy formula, right, Abdul Hamid? Good. Hisham. Mr. Can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Mr. In the quiz, we, it, uh, it will be a quiz like quarter final or, or no, it's only a quiz. Mr. We are talking on other subject. Do you understand the board? This is an important thing now. Yes, yes, I understand it and write right. it in my book. Our next exam will be like the, the second exam. It's final exam out of 25. It's okay, Yan. Okay, just to study. Okay. And be ready, okay? Okay, Hisham. Rah, Hisham. Hey, Fajr. Bitlaw, Biruh, Fajr. Okay, Bassan. Mister, I don't understand the x axis when you put it on the coordinate plane. Which one, the first formula or the second formula? 
Second formula of the x axis. Look, at, look at the second formula, Mr. Focus here, please. Okay. If we have a point x and y, I have two reflections. Reflection across x across x axis and reflection across y axis, okay? Now, okay. reflection across x axis, focus here, focus. This is the formula. If we have a x and y, a prime will be x and negative y. Means x will stay the same and we change the sign of y, okay? okay. Now, if we have a point, for example, n, and n is 3 and minus 1. Now I want any prime across x axis, right? My son? Yeah. Now look here, the formula said x stay x, so 3 will stay what? 3. Umtaz. But here the y will be what? 3 will stay 3. Mashi. And the y will be its late voice. It's okay. The y will be negative y, right? It will be 1 because uh, there are two negatives. The sign, Mumtaz. So negative 1, we change the sign here. It will be what? Positive one. one, got it? Now this is for what? For what? X-axis. Now we have another formula for? Y-axis, the first formula. X will be what? We change the sign of X, but Y is still Y. Y. Got it? Yes. Got it? Good boy. Guys, copy the formulas and memorize them today because tomorrow we will apply more and more about these two ideas. Mr. I don't, I don't understand how to put the x axis on the coordinate plane. So look here, Mr. If I want to graph n, what's n? 3 and negative 1. I will go here to the x axis and search about the 3. This is the three, right? right? And where is negative one? Down or up? Down. Down, I will go down until I get negative one and I put my point here, got it? Got it. This is N. Do you understand N? Yes. So look at any prime now. What's in the prime? Three and? One. Hi, is 3x. This is the 3x. I will go because the one is positive now. I will go here. Sahih Hassan? Yes. This is any prime. So look, this is the original and this is its image. Its image. Got it? Got it. Good boy. Okay, guys, this is the idea of today. Please copy the formulas. The formula, write up, reflection across y-axis, write the formula, reflection across x-axis, write the formula. And I will do another two examples about each reflection, how we find the reflection across the axis, guys. And this is important because tomorrow, tomorrow, now, look here, guys. If I have this point, T, and the T is 4 and negative 3, who can tell me, guys, what's the T prime? What's the image? What's the reflection of T across Y axis? And here, if we have the same T, which is 4 and negative 3, who can tell me what's the T prime, the reflection of T, but this time across X axis? Who can give me the reflection here and the reflection here, please? Huh. Yusuf Tam. Yes, mister. 
Yusuf, tell me, can you tell me what's the reflection of T across Y axis? Yes. Uh, yeah. Negative negative four. And? And negative three. Mumtaz, the X will be what? Negative. This is the formula. X will be negative yes. X. So four, and we change y its is sign. Same. So it will be negative four. And the Y is still the same. Negative three is still the same. Got it? Yeah. Mumtaz the Yusuf. The second Fine. one? The, what, no, thank you, Yusuf. What's the reflection, guys, now across X axis on the same point? Who can tell me the reflection across X axis on the same point? The same point. Ahmed Bardawi. Yes, mister. Yalla, Ahmed, tell me, Ahmed. If we have T4 and negative 3, what's T prime across X axis? It will be 4 and four. X will be 4. The same. X4 is still the same. Look here. X is still X, guys. X, X, 4, 4. Of negative 3, what it will be? It will be positive 3. So why we change its sign? Why it was positive and it will be here negative. But if it's negative, it will be what? Positive. Positive. So negative three, what it will be here, Ya Ahmad? Uh, positive three. Montas. This is how we do, guys, the reflection across y axis, reflection across x axis. Today, guys, you are mm, not able too much to do the homework. So you can do the homework for, for example, uh, from one to four. Yeah, you can do the homework from one to four using the formulas. For example, question one said, write the order pair, reflection each point across the x-axis. We know the x-axis, right? This is the x-axis, and this is the formula of the x-axis. You can use the formula to do questions one, two, three, and four, right? If you read the question, look here, guys. You have points and you need to write, to write the reflections. So you can do from one to four only using the second formula here. And if you don't have time or you don't understand it very well, tomorrow, inshallah, we'll do more exercises about these two formulas. Thank you so much and meet you tomorrow. Better don't forget. Goodbye, guys.